Alrighty guys, so today I am going to share with you um, a method I use to get solar energy when I'm out backpacking or in the wilderness environment um, and that type of thing. This here is something I purchased years ago. It is a uh, Brunton Solar Roll 14. Um, so it's capable of uh, 14 watts. And I'll open it up here in just a minute and share it with you. Unfortunately, they do not make this particular model anymore. And um, as far as I know, Brunton doesn't make any of them anymore. Um, but I have found them still on Amazon and other places um, by a company called Powerfilm. Um, they've come down in price. Um, I want to say that originally these things are going for about $350. And um, you may find them for about $150 to $200 now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, this is the tube that comes in for storage. I'm going to go ahead and pull the accessories out first. So this is just a, a cigarette lighter adapter. So you can, you know, your cell phone or anything like that that you need to charge. Um, this adapter is used for linking more than one of these together and I if I recall correctly you can link up to three of them together and then this is a uh, you know just a battery charging cable for uh, topping off a battery um, so hopefully you can see that a little bit there is the power end right there. That's on the inside or the, the bottom part. So this is the back of it, what it looks like. Um, we'll get the tape measure out and measure it. And it, it's basically 57 inches in length and then 12 inches wide. It's got these nice grommets for tying it down. Like if you wanna attach it to the top of your tent, um, People attach them to the top of their cars or boats and that type of thing as well. Uh, we're not going to get a lot of power out of it today. Um, I'm going to shine the flashlight on it here eventually and show you a little bit of what it can do indoors. Um, but it does actually work well um, outside also. Um, even on a cloudy day, I've had no problem. Mostly I've used it for charging my amateur radios. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is on the back here. It talks about the unit. Um, so each cell is 15.4 volts and 500 milliamps. Um, so what it's referring to are these pieces right here. So there's a total of 18 of them. And with the 18 of them there, it will get us up to a maximum output of 900 milliamps, so just shy of an amp. And then um, each one of them at 15.4 volts, all they're doing is just running it in parallel, or not, yeah, parallel to increase the, uh, the amperage. So next what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna grab my flashlight. So we're gonna use that to uh, shine some light on it down, down here in a second. Um, but first I'm going to uh, wire up the, uh, cigarette lighter adapter and I'm going to go ahead and just plug in this little tiny uh, USB um, volt and amp meter. Um, it's not really going to give us a lot especially with it just being you know, powered by the little LX2 Lumamax. But uh, at least I'll give you a little bit to see what it can do. And next time we'll take it outside and we'll actually charge a radio or a cell phone. So there we go. We're getting eh, almost three volts out of it right there. So not a ton. We definitely need a lot more. I'll move the light around a little bit and... See what happens. Oh, there goes a little bit over three right there for a minute. 
Okay, so next, uh, you know, everybody likes to get the measurements. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull it out there a little bit further so you can see. So 12 inches on the width. And then I'm gonna have to kind of hook it over here because it's gonna be a bit long. And 50, 57 inches in length. And with the, the unit and the, uh, the grommets that it comes with though, it's got six of those, um, you know, two on each end and then uh, two in the middle. Um, I've never needed more than that to hold it down. Um, me personally in my application um, with this particular solar panel, um, most of the time I'm just setting it down um, on the ground itself and charging my radio. Um, one thing, I did have an issue with one time, one of the very first times I was using it. Um, I've had this thing for maybe 10 years, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, I had the radio charged in and you know, the sun had moved on me and it started beating down on the radio and it actually uh, ended up overheating the radio because of you know, how hot and sunny it was that day. Um, other than that though, it's, it's been just a superb unit. It's never had any problems. It's always charged what it needed to. Um, you know, if it's super overcast, it may take a little bit longer. Um, it's just not getting the same amp output as it normally would. Um, but since each of these things are 15 um, volts, um, with this little adapter here, I can charge a couple of cell phones at the same time and it has uh, virtually no problem. Um, I've never been able to verify if I'm fast charging a phone or not, so that, that would be perhaps questionable. It may not have enough um, output to fast charge the cell phone. Um, but the uh, amateur radios anyways, when I'm using those, these things are only um, maybe a little bit under 9 volts, I want to say. And yeah, just no problem. Um, the little adapters that these come with, um, you know, they kind of dull down the voltage a little bit and then um, allows it to charge a little heavier um, as far as the amps go. Same with the, the cell phones. Um, I'll have to check and verify next time I have it out there and I'm, you know, using something to fast charge because um, there should be enough extra voltage um, coming in that, you know, just, just like your charge controller in the house, you know, it's taking that huge amount of voltage if you're running your panels in series and it's gonna drop down that voltage and boost up the uh, amps so you can charge faster and hotter. Um, but if you want one of these guys, um, pretty sure you're gonna have to go with the, the thin film brand at this point in time. Um, as far as I can tell, they're pretty much the same. Um, I do believe the newer thin films are a little bit wider and they're shorter in length, which yeah, that could be a pretty darn good thing in, in many applications. Um, I've personally never run one of these in series. I only own one. Uh, that's why there's two in, um, inputs or outputs right there, sorry. Uh, that way you'd have, if you're going to link them, you just run them in series. So instead of having a the, uh, sorry, it'd be running them in parallel. You're just going to increase uh, the watts and the uh, amperage that it can put out.